All right, today we're going to make chicken tikka masala. This dish is very popular all across the United Kingdom of England. In fact, it's one of Britain's national dishes. Just like fish and chips is. They can be eaten by the sea or even beneath eclipses. You know that one. You suck at cooking, yeah, you're totally rubbish. Fun fact, the original fish and chips were served with wood chips. Such a hearty people. We've gone so soft. First step to making a chicken marinade is to pour yourself a pint. We're gonna have a laugh, have a bite, have a really good time, enjoy ourselves before Brexit wrecks it. One of the weirdest things about growing up in United Britain is that there's so many different accents, it's confusing. It might even sound like I'm not from there, but that just means you haven't been to the Cardiff area where I'm from. I want to take around half a cup of fresh yogurt. It's a bunch of different spices you can use. I'm going to use a teaspoon of cumin. I'm going to take some fresh coriander, turmeric, turmeric. Let's call the whole thing off. I'm going to take some fresh garam masala. This one's really important because it's got the name masala in it, just like the dish. So don't skimp out on this one if you're trying to save money on spices. I'm going to wang jangle this together till it's all over tea kettle. All right, now we're going to take fresh can of chicken. The idea behind the marinade is it's supposed to make the chicken more tender and absorb the flavours but if you ask me I think chicken's already tender both physically and emotionally so it's like how much more tender do you need. Always burn your chicken can for the sake of safety. And when you're grating ginger just carve off the end. See that's a handle. Keeps you out of danger. A lot of people don't know the history of this dish goes back to the Druids when they were building Stonehenge. They were pretty knackered from lifting very heavy rocks. So one Druid said, you know, I'm pretty hungry. Why don't we mix up some chicken and spice? And that's how it was made. And then they finished the job and everyone was happy. And it's been popular ever since. It was around the 1920s. A lot of chicken tikka masala recipes call for garlic, but I can't be bothered right now. I don't really feel like chopping it, so I'm not going to put it in. Oh, it's time to make the sauce. Let's get some butter in there. And we're going to get the spices in there. Just cook that up a bit. We're going to get a can of crushed tomatoes and then some more fresh yogurt. I think a spoon of sugar would be really good. This doesn't have to be a spicy dish, but I'm going to put in a little bit of spice. Just going to let that cook for a while. All right, it's time for tea. Let's have a proper brew. Step one is to stroll on over to your bedroom and get your water bottle. Take an ice cold cup of bog water. Then you just take your water bottle and water surround it with the heat. It only take a few seconds for it to be completely hot. Then you want to take a bag, put it inside there. And then you want to take a plate and have yourself 20 or 30 biscuits. You want to get biscuits that are so boring it's going to make the tea taste good. You, it, it should be like cardboard. <sighs> ah, tastes like home where I am right now in England. You take our chicken that's been in the fridge, marinating, getting so much more tender than is even possible. Just going to spread that out on the pan. And we've got the undo on 500. It's like the highest we've ever had it in our whole life, right? It's like really exciting it's like danger it's like you better have one of these or you're going to burn your fingers you're going to put it right on top you're going to turn on the lights so we can see what we're doing and then we're going to watch oh we can't oh it's too high it's too dirty all right uh yeah no oh no there we go i can see it perfectly it's getting hot in here so take out all your chicken. In the meanwhile, the sauce is cooking ever so slowly, just very gently. This is a lovely time to take a walk along the public footpaths, as is my right. All right, let's make some rice. That goes in there, and then two times the water. One, two. Then we'll just cook that until it's cooked. Basmati, basmati, let's not fight. There we go. Oh, let's draw this. Now another close enough. There, <sighs> yeah, you're not going anywhere, are you? Right, the chicken's getting black. I almost forgot about it. Don't look away. Do not check your text messages. Do not forget you've got something on the broil. Ah, oh, you jiggy bastard! 
Come on, you got all day. You didn't take this long when the Druids made you, I bet. You have more respect. And I'm getting right bladdered. Oh, Christ almighty. Look at that. There we go, now we're ready. So let's get this chicken. And you want to cook it for a few more minutes. I want to chop up some coriander. Take some of your beautiful rice. Mmm, looks really good. I want to put some of the herbs on top. All right, so that's chicken tikka masala. Keep in mind, because it's a national dish of Britain, you're legally obligated to give the first bite to the queen. Here we go. Remember, you're not allowed to say anything to her unless she speaks to you first. And it's just um, common courtesy to give, a, to give a bite to Prince Philip, the forgotten one. Here you go. Help yourself, take your time. Great. And uh, you don't want to forget about uh, Harry caught a pretty big appetite. It's like the same colour, right? That's basically it. You could do it, we could all can do it together. One country, one dish. Let's keep in mind all these spices come from the Scottish spice mines, all of our friends from the north. Same people, one people, one God. Several beliefs all together. I'm not, not good at slogans. Chicken tikka masala tastes so good when it's inside my mouth. It tastes so good at night and in the day as well. Pretty much any time you eat it, it will taste good.